Okay, we'll look at some problems that are in the homework section for section 9-5. Like this first problem, the 8th grade class at a grade school had 11 girls and 16 boys. How many different boy-girl dates can be arranged? All right, in this case here, this is just going to be a simple multiplication problem. Here we can use the fundamental counting principle to solve this particular problem. Just simply take 11 and multiply that by 16, and you'll end up getting 176. That 176 represents the number of boy-girl dates that can be arranged. So in this case, 176 boy-girl dates can be arranged. All right, problem number two. Well, we have Pizza House offers five different salads, five different kinds of pizza, and four different desserts. How many different three-course meals can be ordered? Okay, again, we can use the fundamental counting principle here because we have five different salads, multiply that by five different kinds of pizzas, multiply that by six different kinds of desserts. So if you multiply this, this will give you 150. Okay, so we can say that there are, uh, they are, there are 150 different meals that can be ordered at Pizza House. Okay, number three, it says, how many permutations are there left in the word plants, P-L-A-N-T-S, if all the letters are used without repetition? Okay. Now, all the letters are going to be used, and there will be no repetition, so it'll just be simply be six factorial. The reason for that is because you have six letters in that word. Okay? So just simply be six factorial. And let me show you on the graphing calculator how to enter factorials. And we'll also be using this for permutations as well. For 6 factorial, we'll just type in the number 6, and then you're going to use the math key, which is right below the alpha key, and once you press that math key, you're going to get this menu. Now, the menu that we want to use is the probability menu that's labeled PRB. So here we're going to use our right arrow key to access that menu, which is what we have right here. Now, the factorial is our exclamation mark, which is under number 4. So here we just press number 4 for factorial. So here you'll have 6 with the exclamation mark saying 6 factorial. And once you press enter, you're going to get this answer of 720. Okay, so 6 factorial represents the number 720. So here there are 720 permutations of the letter in the of the letters in the words in the word plants and if we use all those letters without repetition okay problem number 4 is how many five person committees can be formed out of a class of 24 students so here we want to find how many five person committees can be formed out of a class of 24 students? Now, in this case, order does not matter. The difference between permutations and combinations is that in permutations, the order matters. This one, in problem number four, the order does not matter. So here, this is going to be a combination problem. So we'll set this up as 24C5. And notice I'm putting the higher number first and then the lower number. So we can do this on the calculator as well. We can do combinations as well. Let me show you how that's done. All right. In this case here, we have 24C5. So the first thing we do is type in the number 24 first, because that's the number on the left-hand side. And then we press our math button. Now, we're dealing with probability here, so we want to use our right arrow key to highlight the probability menu or the PRB menu. Now we're dealing with combinations, so here we want to select number three. 
which is NCR. And then that number after the C is the 5. So we type in the number 5. So we should have 24 NCR and then 5. And then hit enter. And in this case, you'll get 42,504. So here, to answer this question, in how many ways can a five-person committee be chosen out of a class of 24 students? It'll be 42,504 ways that a five-person committee can be formed out of 24 students in that class. All right, number five is this. Assume a class of 27 members, and there are two parts. In how many ways can a president, a vice president, and a secretary be selected? And in part B, how many committees of seven people can be chosen? Okay, let's look at part A. That's the number of ways a president, a vice president, and a secretary is chosen. Now, in this case, the order does matter because we're first selecting a president, and then a vice president, and then a secretary. So, in this case here, we need to use permutations. In this case, it'll be uh, 27P3. Why is it permutation? Because the order is important. We're selecting a president, vice president, and secretary in order. And again, we can do permutations on the calculator as well. So here we have 27P3, so we're typing first the 27, and then hit the math key, and then hit your right arrow key to PRB. And then this time we're going to select number two, which is NPR. So we'll select number two, and then the second number after the P is a three, so we'll type in the number three. So you should have 27, then NPR, then three on the calculator, and then you'll press enter, which is in this case 17,550. So in this case here, to find the number of ways to select a president, a vice president, and a secretary, it'll be 17,550 ways that we can select those three officers in order. Now part B is how many committees of seven people can be chosen. Here the order does not matter. So in this case it's going to be a combination problem. So it'll be 27 C7. And just like we did in, in problem number four, we're going to do combinations as well. So here we we'll do 27, then press the math key, and then hit your right arrow key to PRB. But this time we're going to select number three because we're doing combinations this time. And then type in the seven. So 27 NCR and then seven. And then hit enter. Which would be in this case 888,030. So in this case there are, in this case, 888,000. 30 ways that a seven-person committee can be selected from a class of 27 members.